Hello everyone, it's Christopher Ayers. And if you have received a performance optimized map from Mountain Performance, I'm here to let you know that they have went further and offered what is called slot switching in their map now. And it's on the fly. So basically what they have done is they have incorporated four different slots in which you can switch very easily on your steering wheel for different settings or different maps that have different effects depending on the conditions that you're driving in or the conditions that you're going to be driving in. All right, now for the sake of this video, much like my data logging and tuning videos, I've mounted my Cobb access port to my sync screen. So let's start talking about these slots. And basically what these slots are, are map changes that you can apply to your vehicle on the fly, meaning that you can apply them at any time without having to reflash your vehicle. Now there are two ways about changing the slots, one through four. One is via the access port. And the other way to change the slots is via the cruise control setting on your steering wheel, the set plus and set minus button. Now before we actually go through and show how to change the slots, I'm going to explain what each slot does and what it does for your vehicle. So slot number one, the tune that Mound Tune gave you and optimized for the performance and safety of your personalized vehicle. The slot number two is going to be normal boost, which is the normal boost in your optimized with launch control and flat foot shifting. So map number two would be optimal if you were at the track where you would want to set up your, your launch control and flat foot shifting. Slot number three is a low boost map. So basically it's going to lower the boost on your current map so if you're just daily driving, uh, the weather's not so hot, you know, and you just, you want to lower the boost and uh, not run so much, then you can pick num slot number three, which is ideal for daily driving. And then slot number four is the same slot as number three, except with 1.5 degrees less spark. And the reasoning for the negative 1.5 degrees of less spark is for the chance that you may have bad fuel or an engine stutter or anything that may cause you concern in your tune that you would want to take it down and drop it to the lower boost pressure and take 1.5 degrees of spark out of the tune. So after explaining what each slot is dedicated for, I'm now going to show you how to access changing the slots on your Cobb access port. We're going to do that by scrolling down to Tune. Then we're going to hit Select. We're going to go up to Adjustments, Adjust ECU Settings, hit Select. And then you're going to see change CCF map slot. And this changes the slots that we're using in our optimized mound tune tune. We'll hit enter. As you can see right now we are on map slot one. Now if we want to change to two, we just hit up. We can go to two or three. And then once you get the desired map slot, you just hit enter. And that is how you change it through the access port. So I'm going to go ahead and change mine back down to one, and then exit out of the access port and go back to the normal gauges screen. So now that I've shown you how to change the slots on the Cobb access port, I'm now going to show you the much easier and user friendly way of doing it. And that is through your cruise control controls. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to change them is you're gonna use the set buttons, plus and minus. Obviously plus will go to two, three, and four, and minus will go from four, three, two, and then back to one. 
The first thing you have to do though before changing them is hit the cancel button. So by hitting the cancel button, we have then activated it. So we're gonna set up to slot two, three, four, back down to three, back down to two, and back down to one. And it's as easy as that to change between the four slots. Now I also want to show you that while you change the slots on your cruise control settings, what you'll see on your RPM gauge. Now watching your RPM gauge, I'm going to show you how the needle moves as you change the slots to, to signify what slot you are in. Now by default, we're in slot one right now, which is our baseline optimized tune from Mount Tune. So I'm going to hit the cancel button on the cruise control settings and go to slot two. As you can see, it moves to two. Three moves to three. Four moves to four. Down to three. Down to two. And down to the default one. All right, so now that I've shown you how to change the slots via your access port and your cruise control system, you can see the advantage to having the slot changing on the fly, especially without having to download new maps and change maps. It's basically on the fly, meaning that you can change it within the same map and it will change automatically. So for you guys that are out, you know, at a track day, it's obvious that if you're at the straight line, you're gonna wanna go to map slot two with the uh, launch control and flat foot shifting. Um, in autocross day, you might want to stay on slot one with just your normal optimized tune from mount tune for performance. And if you do happen to be driving down the freeway and, you know, feel a sputter or see an issue on your access port gauges with octane issues, you're going to want to go to slot four and uh, go to the low boost to prevent any damage occurring to your motor. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Again, I will link everything down in the description and what the slots are. And you guys have a great day. Thanks for sharing it with me.